Hey guys, Britt from Add Images here, ready to dive into Matterport tips. Today, we're gonna to talk about pulling photos. All right guys, as always, we're gonna start in our Matterport profile and click on the scan that we want to edit or pull pictures from. From here, you're gonna go to the Photos tab. So Matterport in general, when you take a Matterport scan, is going to pull commonly used photos. So you're gonna already have at the beginning, right when the scan comes back, there are gonna be photos that you could use. Now, if you're using this for real estate, typically we're gonna to wanna to go into the scan and kind of dive deep on the angle, on the, the, the fish eye that we use, all that kind of stuff to make sure that we're kind of giving the best presentation possible. But when you, when you uh, click on the Photos tab, then from here you can kind of see what Matterport has, has pulled. And we'll come back to this section um, in just a little bit once we've added some more photos. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it does come with some photos already pulled from the scan. So go back to your Showcase tab, and then from here we're gonna hit the Edit button. So on the right-hand side is gonna be our toolbar, and we're gonna roll down to the photo uh, icon, which is a camera, and we're gonna click on the photo icon. So from here, you can still use your tour as regular, but uh, from here, you can also, you can see that it kind of cut off some of the sides because now we're shaping it for a picture. So if I were to click this picture, now it's gonna take a screenshot or you know it embedded in the tour of that specific location that I took. You can see at the top here that it also allows you to zoom in or zoom out of the picture. So what this is gonna do is if I zoom out, it's gonna give me a lot more of that fisheye view, which is uh, you know sometimes desired on the exterior of the property so you can make sure you can get a really wide angle um, or you can zoom in if you specifically wanna see something um, or highlight something in, a, in an area. You can use the 360 aspect of the Matterport scan, but it is gonna to default to 100% uh, as, as far as your zoom. Uh, so from here, you could just use your tour as regular. Let's say we wanna to go to the kitchen. And we wanna make sure that we're taking a picture from here. So again, you would just take a picture. Now, every time I take a specific picture, it is gonna store in that photo tab that I showed you at the very beginning. So when we think that we have all the pictures that we want and we've kind of gone through the tour and made sure that we've highlighted all the specific angles that we wanted, we're gonna exit out of our little edit section and we're gonna go back to our photos tab. Now from here, you can see the two pictures that we took are already in this little photo section. So at this point, you just want to you know, select, you could select all, you can go through and click on them specifically to see which ones that you wanna use. But from here, we're gonna click on the, the photos that we want to um, download. And then we're gonna hit this download button right here. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to pick a size and then it's gonna send you or email you a zip file that you can then download. Uh, and then manipulate the, the pictures further. So for right now, because I am gonna edit these pictures, I'm gonna use uh, the max pixel size and I'm gonna hit accept. Now from here is going to email me, like I said, a zip file, which we'll look at in just a second. All right, now once you hit that download button in the photos tab, you're gonna go to your email, it's pretty fast, and you're gonna have a link from Matterport that says, get my snapshots. So it is an expired link, but from here, you are going to have a download folder that has all the pictures that you um, wanted to pull from that Matterport scan. So like I said, they do have some kind of set pictures, um, but from here, they're gonna give you the full pixel size picture that we requested. And from there, you can edit, you can pull in the Photoshop and color touch or do anything like that um, with those pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If there's any questions, comment below or hit us up at adgeimages.com.